Namaste, my name is Gora Leela Dasi and I'm going to talk you or let you do a class with me to help you when you can't sleep at night. So you come into a seated position and to have your hips higher than your knees you can sit with a cushion so you can lift yourself up and sit on a cushion. Just bring the back of your hands on resting on your knees or your thighs and bring the forefingers and the thumbs to touch just to keep the energy flowing through the body. So we're just going to start with a breathing technique. It's called a, a humming bee. And I want you to become aware of the vibrations that the sound makes as you say it. So take a deep breath in, lift and lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, just relax the shoulders down away from the ears and close your eyes. As you breathe in through the nose, Feel the breath going all the way down into the lower lungs, your abdomen, the middle lungs, your rib cage, and the upper lungs, the upper chest. And exhale, draw the navel in toward the spine and you're, re you're releasing the breath from the top of the lungs to the middle lungs to the lower lungs. Inhale once more. Inhaling into the lower, the middle and the upper lungs and exhaling in the reverse. From the top of the lungs, the middle lungs, the lower lungs and just gently draw the navel in toward your, toward your spine. I'll start again. Namaste. My name is Gora Leela Dasi and I'm going to help you through a class um, when you can't sleep at night. Sometimes we, we can sleep immediately and sometimes we are restless. So just coming into a sitting position and sit on a cushion to let your hips be a little bit higher than your knees. Sometimes people can't let the knees get down so sitting higher will let the knees drop down. Rest the back of your hands on your knees and your forefingers gently touching. So we're just going to do a humming breath. As you breathe in through the nose, take the breath all the way down into the belly and as you exhale, you hum like a bee. Inhaling. Lengthen the spine. Mm. Relax the shoulders, inhaling. Mm. Once more, inhale. Bring your breath to its normal pattern. And we'll do a breathing again, a humming breath, but that makes the tone a little bit higher. When you'll bring your tongue onto your palate, and it will sound like this, inhale. So we'll do this together, inhale. Curl the tongue onto the top of your palate. Deep breath into the lower lungs, the middle, the upper lungs. Deep breath in. And just stay seated and become aware of the vibrations going through the body, the sound traveling through the body all the way down into the fingertips and the toes. And now reach your arms out to the side and up above your head. 
Interlock the fingers and push the palms up towards the sky. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Release the hands, arms out to your side, twisting from the waist. Bring your right hand onto your left knee and your left hand behind your back. So you're pressing down into the left hand to lift and lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, you're twisting over to the left as far as comfortable. So don't do anything that hurts. Again, you press down into that back hand to lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, you're twisting in the waist. Try not to turn your head, just turn twist in the waist inhale lift and lengthen exhale twist and then you turn your head as far as comfortable don't strain stop when you feel there's any tightness and then release and come back to the center raise the arms out to the side inhale exhale twist in the waist keep your, your head facing forward your left hand on your right knee right hand behind your back press down into that right hand to lift help to help you lift and lengthen your spine and as you exhale, you twist in the waist. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist in the waist. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, twist in the waist. And then when you have twisted as far as possible, you slowly turn your head to twist in the neck and turn to look as far behind you as comfortable. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist in the waist and then turn your head and then release come back to the center come up onto your hands and knees your fingers are wide apart you press down each finger into your mat the palms of your hands and try not to have um, the heels of your hands having too much weight on it you're trying to spread the weight in the whole of your hand we're going to do the cat and the cow and again, inhale, as you inhale, you lift the tailbone, curve the lower back and stretch the chest and the chin forward. So do this with awareness. Exhale, tuck your tailbone slowly, draw the navel in toward your spine. Press your hands into the mat and push your upper back away from the mat. Let your head drop down. Inhale, lift the tailbone, curve the lower back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round your back. Keep pressing your palms down into your mat. Draw the navel in toward your spine. Inhale, lift the tailbone. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round your back. Once more, inhale, lift the tailbone. Curve the lower back, stretch the chest and chin forward. Now exhale, move your hips back onto your heels. Reach your arms forward, rest your forehead on the mat if that's comfortable. If that's not comfortable, you make fists with your hands and rest your head on your fists. Or with your hands reaching forward, resting your forehead on the mat. Inhaling. And as you exhale, try to stretch all the way from your hips to your fingertips. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply once more. And then exhale, come up onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under. Pull those little toes out. And just stretching through the toes. Feeling the stretch in your feet. Our feet are very important. And then coming back to an easy sitting position. And we're going to work with the feet. So you're going to take your thumbs and just massage the pads, the inner, the middle part of your foot and the heel of your foot. If you've got some essential oils or you've got some um, any oil just to make it easier. Just massaging the feet and then you can place the foot down on the mat and you can just work your thumb through each toe working the thumb through each toe and then between the big toes and then you're going to take your fingers and just place each finger in between each toe just to stretch out and get more flexibility in the toes 
and then you're going to grab hold of your foot and just make circles with your ankle and then reverse the direction of the circles and then swap sides and just massaging the foot again the, the pad of your foot the middle of your foot and the heel of your foot this is caring for yourself just taking care of yourself and then you're going to push your thumb in between each toe and then you're going to bring each finger in between the toes stretching all those muscles that we don't even think about during the day and then supporting your ankle and just circling the ankle and then reverse the direction of the circles and then coming back this time we're coming with our big toes together knees wider apart but you don't want it too wide you want it comfortable sometimes you have it too wide and it's not comfortable so you inhale and now you reach your arms forward again drop your chest toward your mat and rest your forehead on the mat or as I mentioned before you can make fists and just rest your head on your fists so it's reaching your fingertips away from your toes feel the length in the side of your torso the stretch in your shoulder joints and your arms Deep breaths in, all the way down into the belly. And as you exhale, you draw the navel in toward the spine. Exhale completely once more. Inhale, deep breath in. And exhale from the top of the lungs, the middle lungs, the lower lungs. And walk your hands back. Bring the knees back together. And come up onto your knees your knees your hips and your ankles are in line you tuck your toes under pull those little toes out once more bring your hands onto your hips inhale lift and lengthen opening up through the front of your chest opening up through the front of your hips try and keep the length in the lower back inhaling lift and lengthen work the shoulder blades toward each other and then exhale, flatten the top of your feet and then rest your abdomen on your thighs, your arms by your sides and your forehead on the mat. Deep breath in, exhale, slowly roll back up again. Your head is the last to come up and then push back up onto your knees. Tuck the toes, support your hips again, inhale, lift and lengthen lengthening the spine opening up between the shoulder the shoulder joints and exhale release inhale and then exhale lower your abdomen your head onto your mat once more into the pose of the child stay here for three more breaths deep breathing in and exhaling just letting go any tension in your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your fingers. Inhale. Exhale. Release the shoulders. Exhale completely and then inhale, slowly roll up. Exhale. Extend your legs. Now if you have a belt or you have a scarf, we're just going to do a forward bend. If you don't have a forward bend, you just go as far as comfortable as you, if you don't have. If you don't have a belt or a scarf, you're just going to use your arms. So you inhale, flex the feet, separate the toes. Inhale, reach the arms up alongside your head. As you breathe in, you lift and lengthen. And as you breathe out, you forward fold. So try and keep your spine as straight as possible. Try not to round your back. So inhale, and as you exhale, fold forward from the hips. Inhaling, come up. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. Inhale, lengthen. 
and exhale, fold forward. Inhaling, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. And then stay where you're comfortable, either with your hands on your ankles or your thighs or your knees or calves. And then we breathe in, lift and lengthen. And exhale, always trying to bring your abdomen onto your thighs. Trying to keep the length in your back. And then release. Bend the knees and come and lie on your back. Give yourself a hug. Circle the knees and just massage all those muscles in the lower back, the buttock muscles. And then reverse the direction of the circles. And then bring, pick your feet behind you and then slowly come up to sit. Coming back in a seated position. Inhaling and exhaling. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale and exhale. And then once more. Rolling onto your back. Round, roll back and forth again. And then come up and come back into a seated pose. Inhale and now as you exhale, see if you can fold forward from the hips. Deep breath in and folding forward. Again, trying to keep the length in your spine. Inhale and exhale. And then slowly pushing yourself up. And then coming to lie on your back with your knees bent, feet in line with your hips and your knees. Arms by your side, palms pressing down. Tuck the chin in slightly, exhale completely. And as you inhale, press down into your feet to let your pelvis lift, the lower back, the middle back. Tuck the chin in toward your chest. Work the shoulder blades toward each other. If you can, you can bring your fingertips to your heels, press down into the feet to lift and open up through the front of your hips and thighs. And take slow and deep breaths here, breathing into the belly, the rib cage, the upper lungs, and exhale in the reverse, from the top of the lungs to the middle lungs to the lower lungs. And now separate the shoulder blades and slowly lower your spine from the top of your spine to the middle to your lower back and your pelvis. Bring your knees to your chest and just circle the knees massaging the lower back, the buttock muscles, and then reverse the direction of the circles. Bring your knees back to the center, separate the knees and bring the soles of your feet to, tend to touch. If you need support, you can place a block underneath each thigh. Try to keep your lower back relaxing toward your mat. Your arms are by your side, palms face the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. Take a slow and deep breath into the lower, the middle and the upper lungs and as you exhale in the reverse, just feel your body resting on your mat. Inhaling deeply all the way down into the lower, the middle and the upper lungs and exhale. Relax, feel your body getting softer, heavier, Tuck the chin slightly, deep breath in. Exhale, release and relax. Exhale completely and then bring the knees back into the center. Now if you doing this before you're going to bed, you can go and lie on your bed now for this relaxation and meditation. So you can lie on your back in your bed with your legs extended or if you're more comfortable, you can put a bolster underneath your knees or just with your legs extended, whichever is more comfortable while you're lying in bed. Just breathe normally and just feel all the bones of your body getting heavier. Now don't judge your breath, don't change the breath. Just watch the breath move in through the nose and out through the mouth as you sigh and feel all the bones of your body getting heavier. 
inhaling into the belly and exhaling out with a sigh. Feel the bones getting heavier and heavier. Inhaling and exhaling with a sigh. Inhale and this time become aware of the joints the joints in your toes and just relax the joints in your toes. On your next exhale, release the joints in your ankles. Inhale and then release the joints in your hips. So you feel the feet flopping out to the side. And then bring your awareness to your hands and relax all the joints in the fingers, the wrists, Release the joints in the elbows, the shoulder joints. And then relax the joint in your jaw. So all the bones and the joints releasing, softening. And now become aware of all those muscles that are covering the bones, the joints. And then focus on relaxing the soles of your feet, the toes, the calf muscles, the kneecaps, and your hamstrings, the inner thighs, and your quads. Become aware of your pelvis and relax all those muscles covering your pelvis those deep abdominal muscles, the abdominal muscles, the buttock muscles, and just relax all those muscles. Become aware of the muscles in the lower back. You might feel that curve in the lower back. Don't try and flatten it. Just focus on a few breaths to release and relax those muscles toward your mat. Just focusing on that area and relax. And then moving up towards the shoulder blades and feel all those muscles dropping away from the shoulder blades. Feel the arms getting heavier and heavier. The palms are softening. Your fingers are gently curled. All the muscles in your forearms and upper arms are getting heavier and heavier. Relax all those muscles covering your head, your scalp and all the muscles in your face. Smooth out any creases, especially between the eyebrows and the forehead. And let your jaw relax. Your lips are gently touching or they slightly apart. Your body is relaxed. If you feel that you're holding tension in any part of your body, take the breath into that area or those areas of your body and just focus on relaxing that part. No pressure, no force, just with the breath. Your body is sinking to rest, supported on your mat or your bed. Now we're going to do this meditation. As you breathe in, feel the abdomen rise and as you breathe out, breathing out with a sigh, visualize that you're watching a beautiful moon rise. The color is beautiful, orange and red. As you inhale, Feel the abdomen rise, the ribs expand, and as you exhale, just watch this moon. Visualize this moon, this beautiful color of the moon. We're going to say the mantra Goranga. 
So as we inhale, we take the mantra Gauranga into the mind. And as we breathe out, we'll say the mantra Gauranga. As you breathe in, feel that you're taking that beautiful orange light into your body, into each cell of your body. And as you breathe out, you're going to say the mantra Gauranga. Breathing in and feel this beautiful orange light filling the whole of your body all the way down to the tips of your fingers and toes. And exhaling aloud, Gauranga. Inhaling once more. Gauranga. Inhale, take this golden light all the way down into the heart, the lungs, the belly. Koranga. And once more, breathing in, taking this wonderful light into our bodies, especially into the heart where we, the spirit soul, is seated. Gauranga. And now just relax your breathing. Your body is relaxed. And maybe you can fall asleep now. Or you can move and lie on whatever side is more comfortable for you. So you can lie on your back if that's your comfortable position or you can lie on your side. And I wish you a good night's sleep. Namaste.